Hey everyone, it's Jonathan Allen here from Camp at RV in Stratford, Ontario. Today's walkthrough video is on the 2020 Puma 32 RBFQ. Uh, this model here is a 32 foot box length travel trailer made by Palomino RV. Uh, and with this one, uh, we ordered it with a, the optional second queen bedroom. So the normal build on this model is you get a queen bedroom at the front and then a bunk bedroom at the back. Uh, but it is optional that the rear bunk room you can switch for a queen bedroom. So it's great for families who have uh, adult children or if your kids are just larger and they don't fit into bunks, this is a great option for you. But I'll give you a nice walk through here today. We'll show you all the details on the outside and then we'll check out the interior features as well. Uh, so starting at the front, it does have diamond plating, prevents against stone chips. You can see the graphics for the 2020 models. This one was ordered with 30 pound propane tanks with the cover. Uh, the standard is 20 pound tanks, but you can upgrade them to 30s like we have on this one. Uh, this one does have the four corner stabilizer jack, so they crank down on each corner. Uh, manual tongue jack on this model. It is available with power tongue jack and power stabilizers as well. Pre-wired for portable solar, so you can get a panel that will plug in to keep your battery charged up. Storage compartment at the front here, which you can access from the inside closet as well. Also, if you ever lock yourself out of the trailer, this could be a way that you can get in. All of our units do uh, include filled propane tanks, and they do include a deep cycle battery, which sits in a battery box in behind. So as I mentioned, it's three power slide outs on this one. So there's one up in the main bedroom, there's one in the living area and one in the rear bedroom as well. Weight wise, this model is 8,321 pounds dry weight. And it's got a GVWR of 10,500 pounds. So they actually weigh these models on the way out the factory door. So you know exactly what they weigh with all the options and this one's just over 8,300 pounds. There's some exterior storage compartments. This is underneath the queen bed at the front. I know it's a bit dark in there, but you can access that from inside by lifting the bed as well. There's an additional exterior storage compartment which is underneath, underneath the dinette seat, and that's accessible from inside. Power hookup in between the two slides here, also the city water hookup, and then the sewer connection down below. And then you got another storage compartment, and this is underneath the queen bed at the back. And again, accessible from inside underneath the bed. Spare tire mounted on the bumper. Pre-wired for cable and satellite. So the hookups for that are right on the back. It's also pre-wired for a backup camera. So that housing right by the marker lights is where you can get a observation camera to see what's behind you at all times. Has the... LP quick connect down below because uh, you can get these with a outside barbecue uh, but it is prepped for one. This one doesn't have the barbecue but the propane hookup is there if you want to hook something up. Power awning, built in LED lights. There's also LED lights built into those outdoor speakers. Outside showers over here in the black tank flusher. So after you've emptied out your sewer tank you can clean the tank by hooking on a hose. It's also got exterior power hookup. And then the stove vent, the furnace vent, and the water heater are all centrally located here. It's got the large entry assist handle by the door, and that folds over the door during transit. It's also got the upgraded Lippert solid step, so those stairs, they're height adjustable, and they fold right into the door frame. It's got a separate screen door. So you can separate your screen door and just use the screen door and keep your main door open. And storage at the front. We'll head inside and check out the interior. First thing you'll notice it does look like the laminate wood floor but it's actually in linoleum. It's all one piece, comes in a roll. See nice accent lighting underneath the countertop there. Some storage right inside the door there. Control panel. So all your slides and the awning and the lights, everything's all centrally located right here. Nice big open living area. 
you've got the sofa which makes a bed and then the large drop down u-shaped dinette so that'll drop down into a bed and there's storage underneath awesome that you've got the kitchen you see a good amount of drawers and cupboards for storage microwave built in nice big stainless steel sink with the roll-up sink covers And the faucet. Nice high rise faucet that separates, but you can have that right out of the way. Does have the three burner stove with the flush mount glass cover. You got knife holder in behind. There's the oven down below. You can see you got the button for the lights. It's got an 11 cubic foot fridge, it's a 12 volt fridge. You, it is optional, you can get these with a propane and electric fridge as well. Switch for the fridge to turn it on and off. There is a lock, so you can lock the doors. You can see lots of storage in the fridge, lots of room. Entertainment cabinet, which does have the wall mounted 40 inch TV. And that is on a pull out mount, so you can pull that out and angle it towards the sofa if you want and down below it's got AM FM CD DVD and Bluetooth all built into the stereo with that sound bar and you do have USB HDMI and auxiliary ports right on the front all the interior lights are LED very energy efficient AC is ducted through the ceiling so all the white vents like this that's for the AC and then the heat is vented through the floor, so you see you got heat registers built into the floor. Some extra storage in the back corner here. Great pantry storage. Bathrooms fully enclosed. So you get the toilet as well as the vanity. And there's storage built in and there's a medicine cabinet above. And then a roof vent above, which does have the 12 volt fan built in. So you got a nice towel holder there as well. Corner shower with the sliding doors. And the full shower surround and then there's a skylight up above as well. Queen bedroom at the back. So again, this model comes standard with bunk bedroom back here. But we did the optional second queen bed. So across from the bed you get all wardrobe storage, spot for a TV. It's all pre-wired. You got USB ports throughout the trailer. Because everybody's got devices to plug in these days. And then you get the queen bed. Cabinets up above. And as I mentioned, storage down below, which is accessible from inside and outside. You see that storage door, which you saw from outside. Now, this one we upgraded the mattresses, so they're a nice comfy, almost like a memory foam mattress. You can see the AC is ducted back here, and then the furnace is vented as well. And then at the front you have your main queen bedroom. see lots of open space because you got the slide out in here as well big wardrobe across the front and then the queen bed which again storage underneath the bed and you can access that from outside you got cabinets for storage full wardrobe across the front you see quite a bit of room and then there's the corner closet, which you can access from outside. And across from the bed, you do have a dresser. And again, wired for a TV. USB ports in there. And then they put a backer on the wall so you can mount the TV. And all the windows do have the slow rise shades. And that's throughout. So again, this is 2020 Puma 32RBFQ. 
and again this is the one with the optional second queen bedroom so we now have this model in stock at Camp at RV in Stratford thank you for watching our video come on in anytime we'd love to show you through this great layout uh, we do have quite a few Puma floor plans in stock we constantly have them on order you can view all of our available inventory on our website which is campoutrv.com follow us on social media Instagram Facebook uh, follow our YouTube channel uh, give us a call if you have any questions, but we'd love to have you in. Thanks for watching the video again. Have a great day.